<laughs> so guys, have you guys heard the saying um, that uh, 40 is the new 30 in all your countries? Yeah. Well, you know what I read this morning? That plus size women are now the new skinny bitches. <laughs> Because once everybody saw me, they ran out of place screaming. I realized they were just more Brexit for me. And then I go to the gym in the morning, right? And the machine always every day says, enjoy your workout. Enjoy your workout. I finally looked at the machine and I said, I can't lie anymore. I really don't enjoy my workout. But I certainly hope you enjoy my fat ass pounding on your pedestal. And then I tried that to do celebrity diet. And that was just weird. See, once I ate a couple of celebrities, <laughs> I found now that I was just even more full of myself. <laughs> Honestly, God, did you hear about that whole thing with Jennifer, what's her name there, and the, the, the iCloud, they attacked their iCloud accounts, yeah. took their, they did the same thing to me this weekend, the very same people, can you believe that? And they took every one of my new photos, <laughs> and they deleted them. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are great. You guys have a good time already. This, this is like way better than last Wednesday. Last, last Wednesday I had to get a retirement community. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened, guys. This half of the room, they didn't have their hearing aids on. <laughs> Honestly, God, they started to yell at me. He can't hear you. Move the mic closer, move the mic closer. Right? The other half of the room is yelling at me that I'm too loud. Move the mic away, move the mic away. This is what the first 10 minutes of the show looked like. <laughs> I went to a Debbie's at one point, guys. I didn't know whether I should swallow the mic or put a condom on it. <laughs> they were out of control. So then I heard this other thing on the news recently. They said that, I guess, that as a female comedian, you have to just, you can't just be funny, you also have to be hot. Except, except for in England. <laughs> so I said, to, I said to my friends, well, at least I'm hot. <laughs> No, seriously, really, because right now I'm having a hot flash, right now. I really am. But, um, but I noticed uh, something recently that was a little strange. Like, more and more, the last couple of years after shows, young men in their 20s will come up to me and say, Oh, Pat, I loved you. Oh, Pat, you were great. And I'm thinking, if this keeps up, I'm just going to have to adopt one of them. <laughs> Take them home and breastfeed them. <laughs> Don't tell my husband. No, my husband is great. My husband is terrific. My husband still thinks I'm sexy, but I drug him. <laughs> and he was traveling abroad this summer uh, to, to Asia for business. So I wanted to keep, you know, that spark alive. So I decided to send him some of that photo sex thing. Now, funny, by your silence, I thought you guys were frightened to die in the <laughs> You're starting to look like the people at the Olive Garden. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> negligee from our honeymoon, which is absolutely perfect, because it only like half fits me now. I took photos of what I think is still his favorite parts, and I sent them over. Well guys, I waited 24 hours, I didn't hear anything. I'm like, shit, I hope I used the right country code. I opened and sent to a mom somewhere. I opened and sent to the young man from Nigeria. Because that's why he cannot take his eyes off me. Thank you, John. <laughs> so I checked the number, I sent him again, right? And finally I get a text back from my husband. And you know what it said? Who are you? <laughs> and how did you get my wife's cell phone number? You fat, hairy bitch. <laughs> oh, I love it when he talks dirty to me. You guys don't know hairy bitches are safe word in this country. <laughs> now I'm making myself laugh. Oh my goodness. So my husband, guys, is seven years younger than me. Wow. All right. I expect some moves on that. Thank you. Thank you. So um, that's why I did not want to go to his high school reunion. I didn't want to be the oldest woman there. But um, after I drank a bottle of tequila and he slid me a roofie, I agreed to go. <laughs> so we get there. And it was very New York, she, she, nobody had name tags on, and they all acted like they knew me. And they kept telling me how terrific I looked, how young I looked, how great I looked. I mean, I really had a good time. 
So the next day they sent one of those group photos with everyone's names on it. So I said to my husband, they were so nice to me. Who do they think I was? Like the prom queen, the class president? They thought I was the high school gym teacher. <laughs> Wait, not just any gym teacher, the girls softball coach. Do you guys know what that means in other countries? <laughs> I slipped myself a roofie after that. <laughs> That was kind of crazy. And um, we just had the Jewish New Year, and my husband's Jewish. And he told me in the morning, he said, um, that we now we're going to have to have sex this year 5,775 times. <laughs> I said, okay. <clears throat> now, gentlemen from Nigeria, doesn't that, does that sound like a good one to you? <laughs> Give or take. Give or take a few. <laughs> well, thank you for participating in my survey. <laughs> Because I actually told my husband he'd pencil me in for 75, I'm just going to have him call you for the rest of it. <laughs>